Hello, welcome back to another Ghost in the Lunar video. Today we'll be covering version number 1.73 of Ghost Simulator, in which they added two new, they added an event, and added a new classified pet. The first thing which most, most people will probably see as important is the uh, boss rush event, which will increase the spawning times, or decrease the spawning times rather, of the bosses, allowing you to fight more back and back. I do not know if this applies to Royal Boss, or the Grim Boss, sorry, Royal is the board from it, in the Ghost World, or to Anomaly in the back door, but this will this at least applies to, to the main world, in which so that you can grind crate keys faster. I do not see the boss rush event as being very helpful, in la except for rare instances of high-end back door players being able to grind out the Anomaly boss a little bit quicker, since that's a, that was a big area of gem grinding for high tier players with classified gums since you could store up those normally loot bags and then open them with classified gums to get a lot of gems really quickly. The other big thing that happened this event is they added a new classified in the back door which we'll take a look at now which will allow end game players the chance to upgrade their stats although I do not I also don't see this is a big improvement to the standard player. This will allow some endgame players a bit of mobility upwards, although not many, seeing how very few, in my mind, there should be no one, but there are a few people that have the maxed out previous classifieds. So that will be cool to see where we can get from there. And it's located over here in the back door all the way Pet crate 11, as you can see, there's now classified here. Unfortunately, I do not, I'm not able to open it from it since my pet inventory is full. But it will be probably pretty good. I'd guess about 10% better than the previous classified pet, which is quite a bit. But unfortunately, I don't think that'll be also relevant to any of you. So, in my mind, this is a very end game player end game for end game players giving them both an opportunity to grind gems faster from anomaly and also give them a new classified to grind for so the last thing that this event added was a new code and store items code is 100 m which i've already redeemed and it gives you a royal gem legendary pet which has decent stats and there also is a new board in the store called the Wind Wave, which I personally... Ooh, I didn't see that as rainbow. But that looks pretty cool. Although I do feel like the atypical surrounding hoverboard theme has been overused at this point. But there's quite a few hoverboards now that utilize this. Those are just the ones I really have since I haven't played much, but I feel like it's a bit overused of the theme. And with that, I think that's all there it is for this update. Good luck if you're going for the classified, and if you want to, you can grind out some bosses. Unfortunately, I do not think it applies to the mega boss grinding, so it's kind of unfortunate. And I think that'll be it for this episode. See you guys next time.